Hello, my name is Dr. Ashok Jansari, and I'm a cognitive neuropsychologist at Goldsmiths University of London. In this little talk, I'm going to tell you a tiny bit about memory and dementia and how you can help with the worldwide fight against dementia. Now, most people think of dementia as something that only old people get and only a few people get. Unfortunately, that's completely wrong. And also, you probably didn't think about the fact that if you play sports, particularly contact sports, you're much more likely to get dementia memory problems. Now, dementia is part of a family of memory problems. And the thing is that because of better healthcare around the world, we're getting people to live to much longer lives, which is great. But then some of the problems of old age, such as memory problems, are now starting to emerge. So, for example, in 2015, around the world, there are about 47 million people living with dementia. By 2030, that's predicted to go up to 75 million. And by 2050, it's going to go up to 131 million people. In 2015, it cost about $1 trillion to look after these people. And by 2030, that's predicted to go up to $2 trillion. So it's a big epidemic. There are things happening in society because of better health care that mean that we're living to better uh, older ages, but that means that problems of old age can come out. Now, it's not only a problem of old age. Now, did you know that if you play contact sports where your head is being hit constantly, you're getting little bits of brain damage? So if, if Frank was allowed out to play football or rugby or something like that, and I don't let him, what would happen is that all the little knocks on his head, each of those would cause a little bit of brain damage. Now, each of those little bits on their own don't actually add up to much. But if you've been doing it a lot for a long time, then you end up with a significant amount of brain damage known as chronic traumatic encephalopathy or CTE. And if you want to know more about this, there's a film called Concussion with Will Smith in it about the true story of a Nigerian doctor working in the state who worked out this link between football injuries in American football and really weird behavioral problems and dementia in guys who were 40 years old. Now, a study in 2019 has shown that footballers are three and a half times more likely to die of dementia-related um, problems than someone who doesn't play professional football. It's been found out that most of the England 1966 World Cup winning team ended up with dementia. So, for example, Nobby Stiles, who's a, a one of the team, he died a few years ago from this condition. So it's not just old people who get it. If you're playing a lot of sports and getting hit constantly, then that will add up and eventually you could have this irreversible brain damage. Now, the problem in society is that we don't have a good test of dementia. We just don't because dementia is a very subtle problem. Our parents or grandparents, they have memory problems. So how do we tell the difference between our mum's just older age and a dementia? Well, guess what? It's really difficult. With the result that clinicians at the moment can't actually diagnose dementia easily. So usually by the time they say, OK, this person's got dementia, it's actually quite late. They've already deteriorated so much that we can't help them. So now there's a big push to try to find better ways to diagnose dementia earlier. And what you can do to help is to take part in our studies. In my research team, ART, we've developed a new test. And that test looks like it's picking up what's called a preclinical signature of dementia. So it's picking up signs of memory problems in people who at the moment are seeming OK. But we think that that signature that we're picking up in our test is able to pick up these memory problems that will only demonstrate themselves in years to come. So if you want to help in the global fight against dementia, we just need a bit of your time. The test is done online 
It's on a website. We will leave you the details. And all you've got to do is spend about 25 to 30 minutes at a laptop and do our test in silence. And then you have to come back one hour later for two minutes, then what? come back one day later for two minutes. That's all you've got to do. And your data will be put together with all of the other people who are doing our studies. And then we can look at, okay, who forgets more quickly? Is it because of certain types of sports? Is it for how long they've played sports for, etc.? So you can help with the global fight against dementia by giving us about half an hour of your time. So I'd be really grateful if you looked at the details along with this video and took part in our study and helped us fight dementia. I hope you found this interesting. Please like this video and let other people know. Encourage other people to look at this channel because every week we're putting new things on. And if you've got any ideas for new things to put on, then just let us know. Thank you.